like my mom did to us. Those at, at, at that age, there was no way I could understand abundance mindset. There's no way I could have understood, you know, all these things I'm talking about. But my mother made it um, simple or simplified it by sharing those stories of our future with us. And so when I was growing up in my mind, even though there's things around me wasn't con really relating to what she was saying, I believe and I had hope that there was a bigger thing ahead for me to step in. series on operating in and with an abundance mindset today and we're going to look at the second thing to do to operate in an abundance mindset and that is thinking and speaking abundance thinking and speaking abundance the bible says out of the heart the mouth speaks it just goes to show that it is from what you meditate on in your heart that is what will come out from your mouth and jesus was fast enough to prompt us that it's not what goes into our mouth that that would cause us to be judged, but it is what comes out of our mouth. That goes to show how important it is to control your tongue and know what to say, because you know, ultimately you will have what you say. And that is why James entreats us to be careful about how we use our tongue. Because speaking reaffirms thoughts. We all have that family member or sister or friend or colleague that does not always have money. And we always have, we all have that one friend, that sister, that uncle, that auntie, that no matter what happens, when you call that person, you know that the person will offer some kind of help. It doesn't matter how much or that we all have, we all know or have those people in our lives. And that goes to show that this thing that we are talking about, about abundance and scarcity mindset is so real. Because what is it that there's only this, there's this particular person that does not always have, and there's this particular person that always has, that always have to give. It comes from the mindset. And that is why I started this series by talking to us about how transforming our mind is really important to this journey because if you look at it critically you realize that the difference between these two people is because of what they are meditating on what they are thinking about what they think about themselves it's either one person is thinking in the line of poverty all the time and the other person is always thinking in the line of riches and i'm a worthy and prosperous person and so like i said earlier mindset shift is really really important also because words magnify things. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. When you say things, it gets established. So when you are, so while you're busy saying you don't have and you always don't have, that is what will get magnified in your life. You will always not have. The spirit will pick it up and make, make sure that that is what you have in your life. But when you speak good things, and this is not in any way trying to say that if you don't have something, you should lie that you do have. I just, I'm just of the school of thought that there is no human being that does not have anything to give. I refuse to believe that everybody has something to give. Everybody has something to give. And so I just think that when, you are, when you're thinking that in the line of riches, in the line of prosperity, I'm a prosperous person, I'm a rich person, you do understand that what you say has to go in that line. And then while you say that, it will be activated in your favor. There's one thing that my mom did again that made me see that this is so important in terms of thinking and speaking. So when we are much younger, every day after dinner, almost every day after, after dinner, up until today, we we're not even in JHS then, I was in primary school. After dinner, she tells a story about our future. So, I mean, you say bedtime story or coconut story, she was telling us stories about our future. What my mom did was that she would tell us what our future will be. So, for example, um, my brother, one of my brother, brothers is an artist. He'll go like, oh, as for Anthony, when he grows up, he would, um, he, he will grow up very soon and he will be working in a big company and he'll be drawing and he'll get contracts. You know, he was, she was saying that and then she said the same thing about my brother when he was not even in medical school. That my brother also become um, a doctor, he will drive a big car, he will be kind, he will be a generous person, then she will come to me and then she will say all those things about me, what she was doing that she didn't know. I don't know if my mom knew what she was doing, but what she did was that she forced me to think about those things and as she was saying it, it was getting established. And look at us today. And when I look back, 
I can just and there are more glorious things ahead of us. And so I believe that it is very important for you to know how to speak if you want to operate in abundance mindset. Like we all know this, rich people talk differently from poor people. And while I am going to do a video to show to you somehow you can get the most out of rich people, I just want you to know that rich people and poor people, they talk differently. You know, they act differently. They think differently. They don't, they don't think lack. They don't think limitation. They don't, they don't see limitation, okay? But poor people, it's, it's just about the mindset, like I say. And so when you meditate on abundance, on prosperity, you automatically speak it. And then it will get established. And so let's move on to the challenge on speaking and thinking abundance. So here's the challenge. The first thing you can do is to have daily affirmations and confessions. When I had my DP, and once again, if you've not watched my video where I shared how a client gifted me a car, you should absolutely watch that video. That kind of sets like the pace for most of the videos I'm doing now. So it'll help you better understand where I'm coming from with all this passion with abundance mindset. One of the things I did to help me normalize my BP was every morning I was saying divine health confessions from Christ and Bad, Christ and Bazi, Love World um, Incorporated. They have those divine health confessions they share every every morning. And I said it aloud to myself every morning and evening until my BP normalized. So I think that speaking, like having a daily confession. It can just be three sentences. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am kind. It can go a long way to help you. You say it to yourself morning and evening. Every day you come up with something. It can even you can just write three sentences and say it for the entire week. That would gradually help you to force you to think in that line and talk in that line. Another thing I believe you can do as parents, elders, siblings, mentees, and all of that is to share stories with your with your younger. Um, you know with younger people that are at your disposal like my mom did to us those at, at, at that age there was no way i could understand abundance mindset there's no way i could have understood you know all these things i'm talking about but my mother made it um simple or simplified it by sharing those stories of our future with us and so when i was growing up in my mind even though there's things around me wasn't con really relating to what she was saying i believe and i had hope that there was a bigger thing ahead for me to step in. And so I believe that that is something that if parents incorporate, we will, we will, we will um, raise children that would have you know, strong mental capacity to be able to take on the world, especially in a part of Africa where we are brought up to be timid, intimidated, and all of that. Just the story time with your children can really be a, a life-changing thing for them. And that's the second thing, the second challenge I want us to take up as older people. The final thing I'll say about this point is to look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself. I used to do that a lot. I still do that sometimes. I believe that looking at your reflection in the mirror and just speaking to yourself also has a way of um, re-establishing the operation in an abundance mindset. Speaking words of life, of course, words of prosperity to yourself is another way of speaking and helping you think in abundance. And so that's it for today's video on speaking and thinking or thinking and speaking with abundance. Until next time, bye.